Ha. So now we'll start the third topic of this uh, unit number five. That is value-based corporate value-based management systems. This is the third point. Now listen carefully here. Yeah? The theory of finance has undergone a fundamental change for the last five decades. It is not only a descriptive field of study. The finance will not only describe the field of study but also it will use a number of uh, statistical mathematical techniques it will be it will be treated as a part of uh, uh, microeconomics and it is felt that finance uh, study is uh, not complete and meaningful until and unless we combine this financial management with the strategic management therefore there is a need for interdisciplinary interaction so finance is not only confined with only a descriptive study Hali a chota sa iska scope nahi hai just to read the finance Finance means uh, from where to procure and where to invest the funds But also it is linked to with the strategic management That means It will be linked with the overall objective of the organization It will use a number of analytical techniques Mathematical models In order to solve the financial problems now, modern financial management points out that firm seeks to maximize shareholders' value. Presently, modern times, the main objective of the financial management is to maximize the value of the shareholders. The value of the shareholders means the market value of shareholders. When the market price increases, the wealth of shareholder will increase. So, value is sim simply the difference between the market value and book value of the equity share suppose the book value of the equity share is 100 rupees and the market value of the equity is 400 rupees the wealth created by 300 wealth created of the shareholders is 300 400 minus 100 400 is the market value 100 rupees is the book value in this way wealth of the shareholders is created now creating value of shareholders is now widely accepted corporate objective throughout the world wealth maximization objective has been recognized as the best objective of the financial management to facilitate the realization of this objective to facilitate the realization of this objective corporate based management systems has been developed now uh, rational. First, we have discussed about the meaning of the term value of based management. Now, rational for maximizing shareholders' value. This shareholders' value to maximize current is the reason. Kya hai? What is the reason? Why we want to maximize the wealth of the shareholders? The goal of maximizing shareholders' value have been defined, distinguished by scholars, practitioners, economists. So, everybody have recognized that the ultimate aim, corporate objective, is to maximize the value of shareholders those who regard shareholders wealth as irrelevant or immoral they are forgetting that shareholders are not merely the beneficiary of corporation corporations financial success these shareholders are not only merely the beneficiary of corporates financial success but they also are the referee who determines the management's financial power Business ke jo profits hai, wo profit gain karne ke liye shareholders nahi hai, balke shareholders are the referee who will decide the management's power. Management's ko appoint karne wale, board of directors ko appoint karne wale shareholders hai. To shareholders define karenge ke management ke powers kya hai. To we cannot ignore the interest and value of the shareholders. They are not only gaining financially, but also they have the power to control the activities of the management but the behavior corporate managers are not responsible for short term fluctuations a market mein jo short term fluctuations hoti hain share ka price fluctuate hota hai every day to short term fluctuations the management is not responsible the management is responsible only for the long term changes in the market price of the shares now this creating value of shareholders is now widely accepted corporate objective. Corporate objective, ka, uh, corporate objective is to increase the value of the shareholders. And this objective has been 
recognized throughout the world, many successful private enterprises have kept this objective, corporate objective, as maximizing the wealth of shareholders. So what is the rationale? Why it is uh, treated? The main objective, corporate objective as the maximizing wealth of shareholders. The first one, institutional investors. Earlier in institutional investors were only passive investors. Now they are they have entered into this corporate world. They are making a lot of investment in the capital market. The institutional investors are making a lot of funds in the capital market. So they are focusing. They are focusing that the objective should be on the maximizing the wealth. Secondly, many leading companies like General Motors, HSBC, Coca-Cola, even HLL Reliance, Hindustan Lever Limited Reliance, all these companies have accorded value creating central place in the corporate planning and they served as a role model for others. So these companies, these reputed companies have recognized that the ultimate objective of the corporate world is to maximize the wealth of shareholders and business analysts are emphasizing shareholders value creation as performance indicator. A business analyst is saying that creation of wealth or creation value is the performance indicator of the company. Company ke performance ko indicate karne wala factor hai. What is the factor? Value of the shareholders. The next one is greater sanction, greater attention is now being paid to link the top management compensation to shareholders returns. Nowadays, lot of compensation, monetary benefits, non-monetary benefits will be given to the management. Now this benefits given to the management will be in relation to increase in the value of the shareholders. The value of shares in the market, mein, then definitely it is on account of uh, I mean good work being done by management. So management should be compensated. So in this way, this shows the rationale behind for maximizing shareholders value. To help in achieving the creation of value of shareholders, Value-based management systems have been developed. Ye market value ko increase karne ke liye, shares ka market value ko increase karne ke liye, value-based management systems has been developed. This approach integrates the finance theory and strategic thinking. Ye value-based management system ye dono ko link kar raha hai. Financial theory and strategic management. The topic, the topic of value-based management can be studied under two heads. Approaches for value-based management systems are Maracon approach as well as McKinsey approach. There are many methods of, uh, many approaches are there for studying the value-based management. But in our syllabus, syllabus, we are given only two approaches. That is Maracon approach and this uh, McKinsey approach. So Maracon approach. First, Maracon Associates, Maracon Associates, an international management consultancy, which was formed in 1978. 1978, management consultancy firm, Maracon Associates, has done a pioneering work in the value-based management system. They have given a lot of literature, a lot of theory on how to increase the value by value-based management system. The key steps in Maracon uh, approach are as follows. A Maracon approach has given some four, uh, uh, four steps, keys for value-based management. Company ka value-based management, man management kaisa rehna chahiye value ko badane ke liye. Iske liye char steps adapt karne ke liye kaha hai Maracon. The four steps are specify the financial determinants of value. Specify the financial determinants of value. The Maracon approach is based on market to book value ratio. Ye Maracon approach is based on market to book value ratio. Market value of share to book value of share. Example, 400 is the market value, 100 is the book value. So ratio will be 4 by 1, 4 is to 1. The ratio will be 4 is to 1. According to this model, shareholders wealth creation is measured as the difference between the market value and book value of firm's equity. Ye Maracon ye bata hai, ke wealth will be created on account of the difference between the market value of equity and the book value of equity. So he has treated the market value of equity as M and book value of equity as B. 
So as long as M is greater than B, there is creation of wealth. There is increase in wealth. When M is less than B, the market value, book value, sir, come ho gaya, so there is decrease in wealth. When M is equal to B, market value, book value, dono barabar hai, so there is no generation, there is no creation of wealth. Wealth is remaining constant. So specify the financial determinants. Second, understand the specific drivers, strategic drivers of value. The key financial determinants are the spread, that is return on equity and the cost of capital. These th uh, two are the deciding factors and also the growth rate of dividend. So company ka value badane ke liye ya teen cheezon ko consider karne ke liye keh raha hai Maracon. That is cost of capital, return on equity and the growth rate in dividends. The two primary determinant, determinants are spread and growth. And hence value creation of market economies and the competitive position. Ye market economies or competitive position decide karenge regarding the wealth creation, value creation. The next one is formulate higher value strategies. So formulate higher value strategies and develop superior organizational capabilities. These are the steps, key steps given by Maracon in order to increase the value to shareholders. Then the next is McKenzie approach. Only two approaches we are given. The second is McKenzie approach. Actually, McKinsey and Company, a leading international consultancy firm, has developed an approach to value-based management which has been well articulated by Tom Copeland, Tim Co Kohler, Tim Kohler, and Jack Murray. These are the three persons who have articulated the theory on this value-based management system. Now, according to them, what they have said is Properly executed value-based management is an approach. Properly executed management system is an approach to management whereby the company's overall aspirations, then analytical techniques and management processes are well aligned, are all aligned to help in company maximizing its value. So three things they want alignment. Ke value ko increase karne ke liye, teen cheez ka alignment hai. which are the three things first of all companies overall aspirations second analytical techniques third management processes these three should be properly aligned to help the company maximizing its value by focusing management decision making on the key drivers of value jo drivers of value hai, value ko jo badane wale drivers hai, what drivers ke upar focus karna hai managerial decision making by making an alignment of three the three are companies overall aspirations second analytical techniques third management processes ye teenon ko align karo align karne ke baad cost drivers ko wo cost drivers jo value ko increase karne wale hai management apne decision making ko focus kare these are the words given by these uh, three persons that is uh, uh, Tom Copeland, Tim Kohler and Jack Murray. Now the key steps in McKenzie. The key steps in McKenzie approach are ensure the supremacy of the value of maximization. Find the value drivers. In a value ko drive karne wale konsa drivers hai usko find karna hai. Establish appropriate management processes and implement the value based management properly. These are the four key steps to be taken in order to maximize or increase the value of shareholders. So ensure supremacy of value maximize. The first step in the value based management is to ensure that senior managers embrace value maximization as their ultimate objective. So senior top management here decide that our main objective, supreme objective is to maximize the wealth of shareholders. This means that top, top management should focus on discounted cash flow. Now, the management achieve karne ke liye, they should focus on cash flow technique, not on the traditional techniques. So here, the McKenzie says two types of goals are there, financial goals and non-financial goals. So there should not be any conflict between these two goals. Then finding out the value of drivers, then establish appropriate management process like this. They can be able to 
attain the objective of maximizing the value to shareholders. So this complete theory I have provided in the attachments. In the attachment, you can find the complete theory of all these uh, value-based management, corporate valuation, mergers and acquisition, and last topic for good corporate governance. So if you go through that theory, you can be able to write about these four topics of unit number five.